Is Prince Harry still in line for the throne? 4 Things Harry Lost in Royal Exit Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle left their senior royal roles behind almost two years ago. So is Harry still in line for the throne, and what things did he lose with his royal exit? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced back in January 2020 that they wished to carve out a progressive new role within the royal family, expressing their wish to divide their time between the UK and North America in the future. The announcement sent shockwaves through the institution and, after much deliberation, culminated in Harry and Meghan leaving their working royal roles behind entirely. The Sussexes now reside in California with their two children, Archie and Lilibet, and they have firmly established their post-royal lives in the U.S. Is Prince Harry still in line for the throne? Despite no longer being a working member of the royal family, Prince Harry has retained his position as sixth in line to the throne. After the Queen, Prince Charles is next in line to the throne followed by his elder son Prince William and his three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's previous website, Sussex Royal, explained, as the grandson of Her Majesty and second son of the Prince of Wales, Prince Harry. The Duke of Sussex remained sixth in line to the throne of the British monarchy and the order of precedence is unchanged. What did Harry and Meghan lose with their royal exit? Senior Working Royal Roles When the Sussexes first announced their decision to step back from their senior royal roles, they expressed their wish to continue to support the Queen. But after long discussions, it was agreed Harry and Meghan could not formally serve the Queen in an official capacity. The Sussex Royal website explained, per the agreement, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex understand that they are required to step back from royal duties and not undertake representative duties on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen. Public Funding As Harry and Meghan decided to no longer be working members of the royal family, the couple have become financially independent of the British taxpayer. Harry and Meghan have kept Frogmore Cottage in Windsor as their UK residence, although the family now resides in California. But Harry has now repaid the cost of refurbishing Frogmore Cottage, which was paid initially from the sovereign grant and was estimated to have cost pound 2.4 million. Military Titles As Harry and Meghan no longer serve the Queen in an official capacity, the pair lost several royal patronages and military titles as a result of their royal exit. Prince Harry's titles of Captain General Royal Marines, Honorary Air Commandant, RAF Honington and Commodore-in-Chief, Royal Navy Small Ships, and Diving, were returned to the Queen. Harry and Meghan also lost some of their royal patronages and they have started to be redistributed to other royals, with Kate. Duchess of Cambridge taking Harry's spots as patron of the Rugby Football Union, RFU, and Rugby Football League, RFL. However, Harry and Meghan have retained their private patronages, with Meghan still patron of Smart Works in Mayhew, and Harry still patron of Centibala and the Invictus Games, among others. HRH Titles Harry and Meghan didn't lose their HRH titles after leaving their senior royal roles in 2020 but it was agreed the pair would not use the style publicly in the future. The Sussex Royal website outlined, as agreed and set out in January, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will retain their HRH prefix, thereby formally remaining known as His Royal Highness the Duke of Sussex and Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Sussex. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will no longer actively use their HRH titles as they will no longer be working members of the family as of spring 2020. The couple has retained, and continue to use, their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles gifted to them by the Queen upon their marriage in 2018.